सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नैष्कर्म सिद्धि थर्ड चैप्टर पेज नाइंटी वन इन द मिडिल सिक्स्थ लाइन इह च पदार्थ निर्धारित आत्मात्म चत्रात्म तवत् न अज्ञानेन अभिसंबंध तस्वेवाज्ञान नवत अज्ञान से अज्ञान घटते समवदपी अज्ञान स्वभाव अज्ञान कमतिशय जनयेत सुरेश्वराचार्य establishing the mula vidya is the cause for this entire universe the appearance of the universe mula vidya means mula gnanam mula gnanam alone cannot be the cause or creator of this universe or samsara but that chaitanyam brahma is there atma plus mula vidya maya alone is replaced by the name mula vidya we saw in tatva bodha who is ishvara who is jiva ishvara ha kaha maya atma along with maya maya upadhin maya upadhi sahita mayopadhi san atma ishvara yutyuchate ishvara is none other than who is having the upadhi that is maya mayopadhi san atma atma associated with maya is known as ईश्वरा, देन हुई जीवा, अविद्योपाधिसन, आत्मा जीवायुत्युच्चते, द सेम आत्मा व्हेन इट इज असोसिएटेड विद अविद्या, इग्नोरेंस इज कॉल्ड जीवा हाँ, सो दैट माया एलोन इज रिप्लेस्ड एस मूला विद्या हियर the basic principles we have to understand i told you already why ishvara is sarvagnyah why jeeva is alpagnyah ishvara is sarvagnyah because when we use the word ishvara we don't use that avidya or mula vidya even though ishvara when we use Maya is nothing but avidya only, mula avidya only, but Maya word we use for Ishvara. Avidya word we use for Jiva. What is the reason? What is the difference also? Why we have to use like that? Simple, you know. If you don't remember that, I will remind once again. Very important also. Maya has got two shaktis, Vikshepa shakti and Avarana shakti. Maya has got two shaktis powers covering veiling power and projecting power. Avarana shakti, veiling power. By veiling, then it covers Vikshepa shakti. Vikshepa shakti is used by Bhagavan 
பட் ஆவரண சக்தி இஸ் நாட் ஓவர் பவர் த ஈஸ்வர ஆவரண சக்தி ஈஸ் தேர் பட் இட் இஸ் சப்சர்வியன்ட் இன் த கேஸ் ஆஃப் ஈஸ்வரா ஓன்லி விக்ஷேப சக்தி துவாரா ஈஸ்வரா கிரியேட்ஸ் திஸ் யூனிவர்ஸ் வாட் வி சே இன் த பிகினிங் லெசன்ஸ் வென் ஈஸ்வராஸ் டாபிக் கம்ஸ் மாயா கம்ஸ் லாட் கிருஷ்ணா ஆல்சோ சேட் இன் பகவத்கீதா வாட் எவர் ஈஸ் தேர் இட் ஈஸ் மம மாயா துரத்யா மாயா எலோன் இஸ் த காஸ் ஃபார் மை பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் மை மாயா ஓன்லி திஸ் என்டயர் கிரியேஷன் கிருஷ்ணா ஆல்சோ சேட் மஸ்தானி சர்வூதானி பகவான் சேட் so therefore maya vikshepa shakti is activated by ishvara avarana shakti of maya is subservient to ishvara therefore bhagavan is sarvagnaha sarvavyapi that is our description about uh, ishvara you know all this when well, it comes to about jiva avidya is nothing but when it comes to jiva we use avidya because same maya is called avidya also another name of maya avidya why in the case of jiva we use avidya shastra use avidya word avidyo padhisan atma jiva yutyuchate because along with vikshepa shakti because we have also vikshepa shakti in sleep with our vikshepa shakti only we project our dream we are also creators only later we become creatures also in the dream creation so vikshepa shakti is there but avarana shakti also is active in the case of jiva in the case of individual i the jiva am controlled by veiled by avarana shakti of maya therefore that avarana shakti is called ignorance i am covered by ignorance after creating everything i do not know when i have created how i have created why i am creating we do not know helplessness is there but ishvara knows that what type of creation he has to create when to create how to create when to uh, dissolve everything ishvara knows because avarana shakti is not there agnyanam is not there but for bhagavan he is sarvagnya but i the jeeva have a lot of uh, forgetfulness i have no control over anything even my body also i don't have control i don't have control over the family members i don't have control over society i don't have control or anything what i have control it shows avarana shakti is there because that ignorance is there about my real nature my birth my death what is this happening nothing is known that is why avidyopadisan atma jeeva ityuchyate so this is already we saw in previous classes now the question is um, what sureshwara acharya want to say this agnyanam is the cause for this entire universe mula agnyanam mula vidya now keep aside that ishwara maya keep aside and uh, um, jiva is uh, atma plus uh, maya is ishwara atma plus avidya is jiva really speaking beginning for junior students sake we say ishwara is the creator of this universe ishwara means what mayopadhi atma maya upadhi sahit atma ishwara so atma is the creator with the help of maya for junior students we say in the beginning the creation about this in advanced texts like naishkarma siddhi etc acharyas are all go to a higher step atma since i am the chaitanyam 
I the Atma am the creator of this universe samsara. I project this universe. You know, for beginning stages we won't say this. Because of my Ajnanam, Mula Vidya, I the Atma alone am the creator of this universe. Very difficult to swallow. Unless the student understand the Lakshyartha Aham thoroughly, this Vakyam is not uh, uh, swallowable. <laughs> okay, very very difficult. Until, unless the student uh, is capable of doing Bhagatyaga Lakshana, Lakshyartha Aham, Aham Brahma Asmi, I the Atma am alone, giving the lending the existence to everything. If this is not clear, I, the student cannot accept I am the creator of this universe means how can I be the creator. Guru is telling from Lakshartha standpoint. Student is listening from the taking from Vachartha Aham, Ahankara standpoint. It will never gel. That is the problem for many students. Lakshartha, Vachartha, immediately you have to jump. Whenever I do a statement, I am fat, I am thin, I am sorrowful, I am happy, I am all this when I say what aham, lakshartha aham or vachartha aham. Immediately you have to know even before teacher is telling you who should know it is vachartha aham, vyavaharika aham, lower eye. But when we say, I the Atma am the creator of this universe, really speaking, when I say, Lakshartha Aham. Hankara, I never create this universe. Vyavaharika Aham is uh, uh, helpless. But when I say, I am the creator of this universe, what I? Lakshartha I. I the Atma, the Chaitanyam. With the help of uh, Mula Vidya, Jnani knows that. Jnani knows, uh, Jnani is above Avarana. Vikshepa Shakti is a blessing, really speaking. This Ajnanam, now the question, the topic is what? Where this uh, Mula Vidya is resting? So, I, the Atma Chaitanya, am the creator of this universe, samsara, chakram, srishti, sthiti, laya, everything. I am the lender of existence, I am giving the chitabhasa to the matter, mind, etc. All we know. But now, our topic is what? Mula vidya is there, anadi, along with Brahman or Atma. Mula Vidya, the basic, fundamental uh, ignorance, uh, primal, primordial ignorance, primordial ignorance. These are all some university language, no? Primordial ignorance, no? it is anadi, just like Atma is anadi, Maya is also, or Mula Vidya is also anadi, from beginningless time it is there. Where it is there? Is it in Anatma or Atma? What Acharya said, all this Iha Padartha Dvayam Nirtharitam. In second chapter, what we have established? There is only Atma and Anatma. Anatma cannot be counted. Anatma is Mithya. Correct? Nirtharitam. So, Dvayam padar, two Padarthas are Nirtharitam established. In that two, what are they in Atma, anat, Anatma, cha, Self and Non-Self. Tatra, with regard to no first four arguments, uh, Sureshwaracharya is going to give, sing you, we said two arguments. From Tatra onwards, uh, argument number one is starting. What is the argument? This Mula Vidya, basic primordial ignorance, is resting or supported by what? What is its Ashraya? In other way, you can say like this, what is the locus of Mula Vidya? 
what is the locus of moola vidya is the question i told you we have seen this topic in vichara sagara also those students who are attending vichara sagara recently few month few classes before only we have completed this very very interesting therefore this is simple actually you are all fortunate that two texts at the same topic coming at same time it's very very rare i feel i am so fortunate to teach also i think you are also fortunate to receive the same topic because it comes immediately in one two texts it is easy for us to grasp otherwise you forget after some time oh, what is this moola vidya where is it interesting confusion oh confusion but uh, vichara sagara visa therefore it is easy for you so anatmana tatra with regard to this atma and anatma two are there where moola vidya is resting is it resting upon is its, its locus is uh, anatma or atma that is the question anatma is the locus of uh, ignorance or atma is the locus of ignorance suppose you say anatma is the locus of ignorance suppose pura pakshi says anatma is the locus of ignorance then these four arguments sureshwaracharya gives it is not possible anatma cannot uh, have uh, be the ashraya of ajnanam moola ajnanam or moola vidya now looking to the first argument tatra anatmanah tavat na ajnanena abhisambandhah simple you can understand hmm? anatmanah non self anatmanah tavat we want to further explain ajnanena with ajnanam or moola ajnanam or moola vidya न अभिसंबंध इट कैन नॉट हैव ए रिलेशन दैट मींस न अभिसंबंध मींस व्हाट अनात्मा कैन नॉट बी द लोकस ऑफ मूला ज्ञान मूला विद्या और मूला विद्या कैन नॉट हैव एनी संबंध विद अनात्मा he didn't say here ashraya but he he says there is no sambandha for anatma with moola vidya or moola vidya can never have relation with anatma why that reason second third arguments he is going to give later tasya hi swarupameva ajnanam नहि स्वतः अज्ञानस्य अज्ञानं घटते वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिफिकल्ट टर्स पोर्शन दिस इज वेरी 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 टर्स आई विल ट्राइ मै बेस्ट यू आलो ट्रई युवर बेस्ट अनात्मा कैन नॉट बी द लोकस ऑफ मूला विद्या बिकॉज अनात्मा ईज बॉन्ड औट ऑफ मूला विद्या स्वरूपतः अज्ञानम स्वरूपमेव अज्ञानं तस्य हि स्वरूपमेव अज्ञानं अनात्मसनः स्वरूपं मूलाज्ञानं बिकॉज ऑफ मूला विद्या ओन्ली दिस अनात्मा ईज बॉन्ड वाट इज अनात्मा बॉन्ड होल वर्ल्ड एंटायर यूनिवर्स ईज अनात्मा वाट whatever you see is anatma okay you are seeing the world as real nama rupa karma they are real dvaitam is real the whole samsara is real it is really created all these are nothing but ajnanam moola vidya that is why there is no difference between moola vidya and anatma it is just like uh, this understand clay and pot clay and pot can 
pot exists separate from clay. That is going to be explained further. Now itself I want to explain you. What he said here, Tasya Swarupameva Agnanam. Tasya is Swarupamana. The nature of Anatma itself is Agnanam. It is born out of Agnanam. Agnanam vere, Anatma vere illa. Anatma eva agnanam, agnanam eva anatma. Here agnanam means mula agnanam. Mula agnanam means mula vidya. Avidya is equal to agnanam. We are talking about mula vidya, not uh, any uh, tula vidya. Tula vidya means car ignorance, science ignorance, dance ignorance is called tula vidya. I hope you remember this. Don't forget, Agnanam Agnanam na enna Agnanam na chemistry Agnanam na physics Agnanam na kekka kudai de. Ok? Rasagulla Agnanam or sugar Agnanam na. No. We are talking about Moola Vidya, not Thula Vidya. Ignorance about all materialistic world is Thula Vidya. We are talking about Moola Vidya, self-ignorance. Mula Vidya, Atma Agnana. That is a basic ignorance. Now look at this pot. Pot and clay. Clay is one substance. Pot is one substance, you cannot say. Clay is one substance, pot is another substance. If you say pot has got a relation with clay, can you say? Clay has got a relation with pot, can you say? To say relation, sambandha dvikotika ha, na abhisambandha ha, he says. Anatma and Agnanam cannot have any sambandha. Sambandha dvikotika ha. Listen carefully. Any relation must have two things, two entities. Without two entities, there cannot be any relation. Why na avisambandha ha? He says here, look into that word. Tatra anatma na ha tavatu na agnani na avisambandha ha. Anatma and agnanam cannot have sambandha because if you understand the example, you can understand the darshtanta. Clay cannot have sambandha relation with pot, or pot cannot have sambandha with clay because there are no two things sambandha is always with two uh, between two entities clay is one substance uh, pot is one substance you cannot say mrudeva ghataha ghataeha mrudu mrudu pot alone is clay clay alone is pot there is no substance called pot how much pot uh, clay pot is useful you see where vedanta Pot has got relation with clay, you cannot say. Clay has got relation with pot, you cannot say. Because there are no two things. One and the same clay is appearing as pot. If you break this pot, one and the same pot can become converted into clay. If you put in the water. So there is no sambandha. Similarly, Similarly, Anatma is born out of Mula Agnana. Pot is born out of clay. Therefore, pot is not separated from clay. Suppose you separate, that also he is going to say, if you say separate, pot cannot exist. Take out the clay, I take the clay, you take the pot. Try. I will take the clay. You take the pot. Is it possible? Can you do that? You cannot do that. Because there is no pot other than clay. Correct? Similarly, Anatma Swarupam Tasya Swarupam Eva Agnanam. That is the connection word. See, without this example, pot clay, you cannot understand this word. Look into the portion. 
where we are in this whole big paragraph you have to catch that sentence what is that sentence tasya nane search panna vendidachi okay ah tasya hi swarupam eva agnyanam anatma swarupam itself the nature of anatma is agnyanam nahi swataha agnyanasya agnyanam ghatate since it happens to be agnyanam anatma happens to be agnyanam mula vidya is also called agnyanam can agnyanam agnyanam can have sambandha relation agnyanasya agnyanam ghatate is there a relation ashraya ashrayi sambandha one agnyanam is called supporter another agnyanam is called supported can you say so na? there are no two agnyanam see only one agnyanam mula agnyanam so na ghatate this we saw in the last class this is the first argument what is the first argument now anatma eva agnyanam agnyanam eva anatma there are no two things to have a ashraya ashrayi sambandha just like clay and pot pot eva clay clay eva pot <laughs> okay pot alone is clay clay alone is pot you cannot talk about the ashraya ashrayi sambandha pot is the supporter supported clay is the supporter uh, you cannot say similarly anatma is the uh, supporter uh, mula gnanam is supported anatma is the locus you cannot say because they are not separate one only na ghatate agnanasya agnanam na ghatate so agnanam one agnanam is supporter one agnanam is supported doesn't happen first argument over second argument what i said in the last class sambhavadapi suppose it happens even it happens one agnanam is hypothetical argument let us see hypothetical argument abhyupetya vada sambhavadapi suppose agnanasya agnanam ghatate sambhavatah api uh, what is the use of that uh, agnanas ಸಂಭವತ ಸಂಭವದಿ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಕಮತಿಶಯ ಜನಯೇತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆಶ್ರಯ ಆಫ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಜನರೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಜ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಮಾಯ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಜಡಂ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಬೈ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಸು ಸಪೋಸ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮತಿಶಯ ವಾಟ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಯೂಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ this is the second argument up to here we saw in the last class now um, he continues from here i have to read that portion second argument continuation na chatatra gnana praptir praptirasti yena tat pratishedha pratishedhatmakam ಅಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಓವರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹೀ ಸೇಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಮತಿಶಯಂ ಜನಯೇತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಜನರೇಟ್ ಎನಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಆರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ಓಕೆ ಫೈನೈಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈನೈಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಫೈನೈಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ತತ್ರ ನ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಇನ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಎನಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ನ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಏನ ತತ್ ಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧ ಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧಾತ್ಮಕ ಬೈ ಹುಚ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಏನ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಏನ 
tat pratishedham agnanam can be removed Agnana, by agnanam agnanam cannot be removed in agnanam gnanam cannot uh, take place therefore tat pratishedha pratishedha means uh, removal elimination tat means agnanam agnana pratishedha by ena ena means ena gnanena suppose gnanam comes agnana pratishedha bhavati lekin but ena tat pratishedhatmakam agnanam syat but that gnanam cannot arise in the agnanam therefore agnanam cannot be eliminated so gnana prapti does not take place this is second argument with this second argument over now third argument anatmanaha anatmanaha ch agnana prasutatvat nahi purva siddham sat purva siddham sat sorry sa purva siddham sat ta satatul labdhatmaka labhat labhat labhasya labhasya santyatyat so setyatah ashrayasya ashray ashrayasya ashray sambham sambhavati this is the third argument what is the third argument agnana sorry anatmanaha from there third argument starts he says anatmanaha the non self anatma the non self agnanam means uh, like uh, a rope snake you say um, rope ignorance generate a snake like that here agnanam Uh, when mula vidya is present mula vidya is present as the cause of anatma as the cause of anatma the cause must exist before or after when anatma is present or mula vidya is present as the cause of anatma anatma must be effect so karanam is mula vidya anatma is the karyam so karyam exist first or karanam exist first pot is karyam clay is karanam pot is um, prayer to clay or clay um, uh, later to clay na no. prayer and later means what pot is the karyam product clay is the cause cause is always to prayer to effect you know this cause is always prayer to the effect effect is always later to the cause if you want to say another words first clay was there karyam karanam from clay karyam product pot has come correct like that here also in the third argument he want to say here also the cause must exist even before the effect come into existence what is that effect here in the example pot is the effect in dashtanta anatma is the effect mula gnanam is the cause from that only anatma world is born therefore birth of anatma is later its cause is mula vidya so mula vidya exist prior to prior to anatma anatma is the product mula vidya is the cause so the cause must exist Uh, preceded to the effect birth of anatma therefore when mula vidya is presented as 
um, the cause for the production of anatma so anatma is a not uh, even existent anatma is not even existent because uh, mula vidya alone was there before the emergence of this entire nama roopa prapancha mula vidya was there is there ever will be there mula vidya is the cause therefore um, mula vidya is presented as a uh, cause before the existence of anatma so anatma is not even existent and that uh, non existent anatma cannot be the support of mula vidya this is the third argument so non uh, no parent uh, can be can say um uh, father, son is the cause uh, father is the effect you cannot say son father is first son is the product exist later only so son existed before the with the father you cannot say son has to born before son is born because of father parent so the father parent is the cause son is the um, effect so son is the effect how can you say non existent son has got relation with the uh, parent you cannot say son is about to born similarly anatma prapancha is about to born therefore you cannot say mula gnanam is uh, having ashraya in anatma anatma is the child mula gnanam is the parent okay therefore therefore what similarly mula vidya doesn't have um, any um, mula vidya is the producer of anatma therefore mula vidya cannot have um, anatma as its ashraya so before the production of anatma mula vidya was there where it is anatma is produced by mula vidya mula vidya must exist with someone else other than anatma so it cannot be in anatma since it is the product of mula vidya now look into the words third argument anatma anatmanah cha agnana prasutatvat prasuti means delivery <laughs> okay prasuti in telugu also they call prasuti delivery delivery means product anatmanah cha agnana prasutatvat anatma means what body mind complex world nama roopa prapancha dvaita prapancha anatma agnana prasuta it is born out of ignorance mula vidya self ignorance then what third argument continuation nahi purva siddham purva siddham uh, sat upalabdhatmata labhasya so purva siddham means atma anatma is much later who is purva siddham mula vidya is the purva siddham it is available this is very very important argument mula vidya is available before the emergence of anatma mula vidya is uh, uh, available before the emergence of uh, what emergence of uh, anatma therefore he says anatma mm, anatmanah cha upalabdhatvat upalabdhatvat means what anatma availability is because of mula vidya mula vidya cannot uh, located in anatma because it must be something other than this so the word here uh, he uses is um, uh, mula vidya 
वर्ड इज यूज द अनात्मा इज गोइंग टू बी बॉर्न लेटर शेष्यता मीन फ्यूचर एक्टिव पार्टिसिपल तकारा पुलिंग षष्ठी एक वचन सो आश्रयी नवतिथ सो वाट ही वाट टू से पूर्व सिद्ध सत् बीयिंग एक्जिस्टेंट सी पूर्व सिद्ध सत् बीयिंग एक्जिस्टेंट मच बिफोर मच बिफोर द बर्थ ऑफ पूर्व सिद्ध सत् बिफोर मच बिफोर द एक्जिस्टेंस ऑफ अनात्मा आर मच बिफोर द बर्थ ऑफ अनात्मा हु इज एक्जिस्टेंट बिफोर अज्ञान मूल अज्ञान ईज एक्जिस्टेंट ईवेन मच बिफोर द बर्थ ऑफ अनात्मा दट ईज काल्ड पूर्व सिद्ध सत् अनात्म न मनात्म च अज्ञान जन्यवा सो द लाभ इज द फॉर द एक्जिस्टेंस ऑफ अनात्मा इट इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वाट न मूला विद्या अनात्मा इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन लुक इन टू द वर्ड पूर्व सिद्ध सत् तत् तथो लब्धात्मक सत तत उपल तथो लब्धात्म लब्धात्म लाभ से सो अनात्मा गाट ए लाभ इट हेज गाट एक्जिस्टेंस बर्थ इट हेज गाट शेष्यता मीन्स इट इज बॉर्न औट ऑफ अनात्मा हेज गाट एक्जिस्टेंस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस मूला ज्ञान लब्धात्म लाभ से लब्धात्म लाभ से न तब्धात्म लाभ से मीन फ्रम मूलाज्ञान द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ अनात्मा एक्जिस्टेंस ऑफ अनात्मा हेज टेकन प्लेस द बर्थ ऑफ अनात्मा हेज टेकन प्लेस देर फोर आश्रय से आश्रय से आश्रय संबंधती न आश्रय से आश्रय संभव शेष्यता आश्रय से आश्रय संभव न न इज देर दैट यू हाव टू सप्लाई हियर न संभव आश्रय आश्रय मीन सपोर्टर सपोर्टेड दट वै पार्ट क्ले एक्सापल ई हेव शोन बिफोर बिफोर इट सेलफ लब्ध आत्मलाभ से वर्ड्स यू हेव टू स्प्लीट प्रॉपर्ली तब्ध आत्मलाभ से मीन विच ईज गोयिंग टू गेट इट्स एक्जिस्टेंस फ्रम द मूला विद्या विच ईज गोयिंग टू गेट द एक्जिस्टेंस फ्रम द मूला विद्या तब्ध आत्मलाभ से आत्मलाभ मीन इट्स ओन एक्जिस्टेंस अनात्मा हेज गाट एक्जिस्टेंस फ्रम मूला विद्या दैट फ्यूचर अनात्मा विच ईज गोयिंग टू गेट द एक्जिस्टेंस औट ऑफ मूला विद्या कैनाट बी द आश्रय 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 संबंध न आश्रय ऑफ द प्रेजेंट मूला विद्या अनदर वर्ड्स अदर वर्ड्स आई प्रेजेंट फ्यूचर कमिंग अनात्मा कैनाट बी द सपोर्टर ऑफ द आलरे एक्जिस्टेंट मूला विद्या ओके लाइक दैट फ्यूचर दैट हुच इज गोइंग टू कम अनात्मा कैनाट बी द आश्रय ऑफ द आलरे एक्जिस्टेंट मूला विद्या ऑलरेडी एक्जिस्टेंट है ना मूला विद्या इज अनादि बिकॉज ऑफ अनादि मूला विद्या ओनली द होल वर्ल्ड इज जनरेटेड द वर्ल्ड इज द लोकस फॉर मूला विद्या यू कैनाट से तत लब्धात्मलाभ से अन्न अदार्थम 
three words are adjective to anatma labdhatma labhasya one adjective sesyataha is another adjective of anatma and ashrayasya is another adjective of anatma which borrows existence labdhatma labhasya means which anatma borrows existence from avidya kadabida irko koncha koncha kashtamada irko analum what to do naishkarma siddhi class you have to bear one day or other you will assimilate it okay uh, which uh, labdhatma labhasya means uh, which borrows existence from mula vidya who borrows existence from mula vidya anatma anatma borrows existence from mula vidya therefore therefore what sesyataha which is going to be going to come later sesyataha ashrayaha which is uh, going to uh, be the uh, supported by mula vidya anatma is supported by mula vidya mula vidya is not supported by anatma okay agnyanam which is purva siddham therefore the birth of anatma comes later how can later product can be the uh, supporter of the prayer uh, cause that is mula vidya happy okay i hope i have communicated once again i will read the sentence so that you will understand uh, third argument anatmanah cha agnana prasutatvat so again deliberately i am repeating because this is the most very very important argument since anatma is born from agnanam therefore what anatma cannot be the locus of agnanam that is why third argument why what is the reason because mula vidya is purva siddham it is already existent existent where that we have to see later but it is not in anatma that is going that is we are establishing before anatma itself mula vidya is this purva siddham it is already existent purva siddham sat tataha labdhatmaka labhasya since it has got borrowed existence who anatma anatma has got borrowed existence from mula vidya sesyataha such an anatma which is born out of mula vidya ashraya ashrayi na bhavati sambandhah na bhavati na sambhavati ashrayi ashrayasya ashrayi na sambhavati ashrayasya ashrayi na sambhavati see mula vidya gives existence to anatma anatma is supported by mula vidya when mula vidya is supported by um, sorry anatma is supported by mula vidya how can he anatma can be the supporter locus of mula vidya therefore mula vidya cannot have the locus mula mula, mula vidya ye anatma cannot be the locus of mula vidya okay with this a third argument is over now the fourth argument i will read tad anapekshasya ch tasya na sam na na swabhavatvat etibhy एतत् हेतुभ्यः 
ನಾನಾತ್ಮವಿಷಯಮಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಸಂಭವತೀತಿ ಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯಂ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ನೌ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಶ್ರಯ ಆಶ್ರಯ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ಯು ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಕ್ಲೇ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಐ ಸೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾವು ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಎಲೋನ್ ಅಪಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೇ ಪಾಟ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಹಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೂಲಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಹೈಹಿ ನೈ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಎಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂಲಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಎಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ದರ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಐ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾ ತತ್ ಅನಪೇಕ್ಷಸ್ ಅನಪೇಕ್ಷಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ ತತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ ತಸ ಅನಾತ್ಮನ ತತ್ ಅನಪೇಕ್ಷ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅನಪೇಕ್ಷಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ತತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅನಪೇಕ್ಷಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಪರೇಟ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಪೇಕ್ಷ ಇಲ್ಲಾಮಲ್ ನೆಸಸರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಾಮಲ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಪರೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ತದ ಅನಪೇಕ್ಷಸ್ ತಸ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮನ ನಿಸಂ ನಿಸ್ವಭಾವತ್ವಾತ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಇಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಶೂನ್ಯಂ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಡಸ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಕ್ಲೇ ಅಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೇ ಫಾರ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅನ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಸೊ ನಿಸ್ವಭಾವ ನಿಸ್ವಭಾವತ್ವಾತ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಶೂನ್ಯಂ ಇಟ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಏತೆಭ್ಯ ಏವ ಹೇತುಭ್ಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಫಾರ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನಾನ್ ನ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ವಿಷಯ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಭವತಿ ಇತಿ ಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯಂ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ದ ಲೋಕಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೂಲಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೂಲಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೂಲಾಜ್ಞಾನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಅನಾತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಷಯ ಆಫ್ ಮೂಲಾಜ್ಞಾನ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಏತೆಭ್ಯ ಏವ ಹೇತುಭ್ಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಅಬೌ ಫೋರ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಫೋರ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್
um, anātmā cannot be the āśraya of mūlā vidya, anātmā cannot be the viṣaya of mūlā vidya. Then what must be the āśraya and viṣaya? Ātmā alone is the āśraya of mūlā vidya, ātmā alone is the um, viṣaya of mūlā vidya. That is going to be the answer. That answer comes in short, very very short, that we'll see in the next class. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachati Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vasishati Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om